Right, here's a quick video on how to do an orthographic drawing from something you've designed in Fusion 360. First time you do this, we need to tell Fusion 360 what sort of orthographic drawing you want to do. So you need to go up to your little icon in the top corner of the screen and go to preferences. When we're in preferences, we need to look for, under the general tab, we need to look for drawing. Okay, so there's drawing there. Click it, and here's what we're looking for, projection angle. Now we, uh, in this country, and for the exam board, we'll need to use third angle projection. So make sure it says third angle there, not first angle, which is what the Americans use, uh, and then click OK when you've done third angle. Right, now we're ready to turn this into an orthographic drawing. To do that, we're going to go up to design in the top corner here, and we're going to flip to drawing, and then drawing from design. Now, when we've done this, we get this little box appear here, uh, and it gives us a few things to choose. I don't think we need to change anything. Notice my sheet size is A3. Probably that's what you want to put yours at because that's what we do coursework on. So make sure it says A3, click OK. Right, after a few seconds, we get a blank page. Now, onto this blank page then, we're gonna put the three views of your product. So you can see here it's ready to start with a particular view for me. Uh, but let's go back to this menu, because I think that's done. If we look here, it says it's done it at half scale. Okay, now I think that we can go probably one to one scale here and it will fit on the page. Yeah, so one to one scale, I think will fit like slightly larger on the page. It'll look a bit better. Uh, and I, I'm gonna start with the plan view up here. So I'm gonna change orientation from uh, front. I'm gonna change it to top view. Okay, so there you go, I've got the top view of my camera. So I'm just going to click there once, okay, and then click OK on the box here. So I've dropped the first image. There you go, that's the first bit done. We now need to put the other objects in. So to do that, we're going to come up to here where it's given me the option to uh, look at projected views. So I'm going to click there. I then click on my model and then just slide the mouse down. I'm not dragging or anything, I'm just moving the mouse down and it's then let me put other things in. So I want the front view there, click on it, and that once you've done that, click the little tick. Okay, and then we'll go again up to the top corner, select projector views, click on this one, and drag it out to the side. Now, there we go, click the tick. Not quite finished yet. We need to add some sizes to this. So uh, we're gonna add some dimensions. If we go to the top and find where it says dimensions in the middle here, click on the dimensions, and then we're gonna click on like, the, the corners, the tool will jump to the corners of your product. So I'm going to click on there, click there, then drag out. Okay, I think I missed the actual corner there because I've got a funny number there rather than a whole number. So let's try it again here. There you go. That's a little bit better. So you don't need to dimension every little corner, um, but just enough so someone else could make it. How do you how do you dimension a circle? Well, there you go. If you just click on the circle and drag out, you can see you get the symbol that rep that represents uh, that that's a diameter. Okay, so you can dimension the key things. Okay, now, what are we gonna do with it now? Oops, let me stop there, right. What are we gonna do with it now? Well, I guess you've got a couple of things. You can output it. You could save it as a PDF file. Uh, if it's going in your coursework uh, and you're on a Windows 10 laptop um, or computer, maybe Windows key, Shift, and then press S. Okay, and then you, your screen will go dim and we can drag and drop, draw a box around it. Okay, so I've drawn a box around it and that will copy it into the memory and now I can paste it into wherever I need to put it. Uh, for you, it'd be into your coursework. Right, hope that was useful, quick as I could make it. Um, a great way of getting uh, an orthographic view from Fusion into your coursework.